Just over a month ago, on December 6th, 2020, I received a package from Logitech for a review purpose. So just so you know, this mouse was provided to me by Logitech for free. This is something you should always be aware of when watching or reading a review of a product online. Since I've not invested any of my own hard-earned money on this product, it will always affect my judging whether I like it or not. There are many reviewers online saying that getting a free product will not affect their judgment, but it always will. It's very basic psychology that should never be overlooked. Are you looking for a wireless mouse with long battery life and a very accurate function? Then this mouse might be just for you, if you can justify the price. Logitech Pro X Superlite, which is a rather small, very lightweight mouse with a very long battery life and, to be honest, rather lackluster features otherwise. Pricing at the moment of this video is $150, or your regional equivalent pricing. Here in Finland it's priced at €149, Euros, and at the moment it seems that the stock for this mouse is out all around the world. So either Logitech underestimated the demand for a high quality wireless mouse, or the freaking scalpers are hitting the mouse market as well. That alone tells you something about the product itself. Either way, this mouse has become a pretty popular wireless mouse among all users, be that professional production people or gamers. Weighing just under 60 grams in its barebone outfit, this is the lightest wireless high-quality mouse available on the market, to my knowledge. However, when you use the bottom socket and if you put on the grip tape pieces, the weight comes up to just 62 grams. Which brings me to the grip tape itself. The tape serves a purpose that I right away wanted on my mouse, as I prefer the friction provided by the tape, but placing the tape properly is a pain in your rear end. Especially the button pieces are difficult to get well fit, as the tape is almost exactly the same size as the button, and it's very soft and loose, so you easily misplace it again and again trying to get it right. I didn't quite succeed in this task perfectly, but well enough for it to serve its purpose and not to affect the functions of the mouse. The battery life is said to be 70 hours of non-stop use. That's just under 3 days, which would be 72 hours. So that's three days of non-stop gaming, which of course you should never do. In my daily use, however, I've used the mouse for two weeks without charging and the battery still had 25% left. This is due to the fact that there is no RGB whatsoever wasting precious battery life and the mouse goes into a hibernation mode rather quickly when not in use. This is definitely the longest battery life I've ever experienced with any wireless mice in the past, by a long shot. Very impressive battery life indeed. Charging the mouse is pretty straightforward. Plug in the wire and you can use it in this wired mode for the duration of the charging. In my experience, charging from a front USB port takes about 70 to 90 minutes from 0 to 100 
obviously depending on how much you use it while charging. During the past years I've used only Logitech mice, as they have always been to my liking. My previous main mice the past five years have been the G402, GMX518 Legendary and the G502 Hero. All of these mice are excellent gaming mice and this Proex Superlite fares very well against these models. My favorite of all time is the G502 since it's very accurate, has all the necessary buttons I want to have, has additional weights available for those who want to have them, fits my hand perfectly and is all in all an excellent value for the current price of around 50 euros or 40 dollars. But these are all wired mice and I'm really liking this wireless mouse now. Even if it doesn't have the DPI button or other extras I'm accustomed to use. It performs very well, it's very lightweight, has a very high battery life and is overall an excellent high quality mouse for anyone to use. However, the small size will obviously affect the purchase decision of many people. This is not for those with big hands. The main problem of this mouse is the price point. With the price of $150, it's hard to recommend this mouse to anyone else other than those who really want or need a high quality wireless mouse, or if you play competitive games. This is pretty much the best mouse to have for FPS games, as it's very light to use, doesn't have a wire, and the sensor is very accurate. Though, no DPI changing on the fly, as that must be done from the Logitech G-Hub desktop application. For those of us who care about ecology related to our consumption of the earth, Logitech claims that this mouse is carbon neutral certified. They say that their manufacturing facilities have been reduced to net zero carbon emissions through the purchase of renewable energy and carbon offsets. How much of this you believe to be true and accurate is up to you. I wish all these claims were true, but I'm far from being naive enough to believe these mega corporations claiming this type of a thing. Anyhow, this mouse is awesome. It's amazing. Not the best looking, but among the best performing. The quality is top notch and I really like using it. I think I'm going to continue with this one, despite everything. Thank you Logitech, and thank you my dear viewers. I hope this video has served you in some proper way to showcase this product, so now you know something more about it, and perhaps buy it. Or not. Either way, enjoy your time in 2021 everyone. Stay safe and stay healthy. Talk to you again later.